All right, we are going to see the Oscar award-winning film Morbius, starring Jared Leto. I think this is the busiest I've seen the movies since the pandemic. Ain't no way everybody's seeing Morbius. All right, we just saw Morbius, and it's a mess. It's better than I thought, though. I, I thought it was a dumpster fire. The more I think about it, the more I don't like it. I got a lot to say, but I, I need to process what I just saw. Woo! Now, I did go in with low expectations. I saw all the rumors and all the chitter chatter on the internet talking about how much of a mess this movie was. For the first 30 to 40 minutes, I was sitting there thinking to myself, it's not that bad. I, I even turned to my wife. I was like, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, you know? Halfway through, man, it just, it completely goes off the rails. Any little bit of characterization that they did for the first 40 minutes is completely thrown out the window. And ultimately, it's like the second half of the movie was edited into something completely different. And speaking of editing, it's definitely the worst part about this movie. The fight scenes, I can't even tell what the hell's going on. It's just a couple of CGI blobs falling through a building and it's so close up, you can't even tell who you're looking at. Anytime there is a wide shot of two characters fighting, it goes in a slow-mo and then turns into a CGI blob mess. And some of the CGI did look cool, I'll, I'll admit. Like, the concept for some of this stuff was cool looking. But I just, I feel like they had a different movie, and then it got delayed, they thought about changing it, decided not to do reshoots, and just attempted to edit it into a different movie, and by doing so, they completely killed the soul of the movie. It's sad, because there are little moments like this hospital scene that was legitimately kind of scary. Like, there are little moments here where there's a little bit of potential for some heart or for some tension and they just completely kill any of it with the second half like there's a little twist in this movie and i was like wow that was actually kind of cool like I, I i liked how they executed that but when you see where the movie's going you're like oh yeah this is why people are saying it's so bad there's several moments where people get slashed and you actually hear blood spraying and gurgling like oh. literally there's no blood on screen like, they completely edited the blood out. Part of me wonders if this was supposed to be a rated R movie or borderline rated R back when they first were going to release it. And then they just kind of chickened out and decided to go, like, super PG-13 route. Like, they took so much of the blood and gore out that it honestly feels like an insult to vampire movies. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some positives here. I mean, it, it, it is an hour and a half, and I feel like it originally was supposed to be two hours. So, at least it's short. The actors are fine, honestly. Like, like, the actors are doing the best that they can with what they have. Jared Harris, that guy is a phenomenal actor, and he's just totally underutilized in this. I don't even know why Tyrese Gibson's in this movie. I swear he had, like, two lines, and he just kind of stood there. Honestly, my favorite character was Al Madrigal. I think that's his name. Like, the dude was actually trying to give a performance. Sadly, it's just one of those cases where the script just blows, man. Like, there's just nothing to really get excited about. This is what superhero movies used to be like before we got the MCU. So if you're a younger member of the audience, be thankful. Like it has this vibe, like it's almost embarrassed of what it is. It doesn't know if it wants to be a horror movie. It doesn't know if it wants to be a superhero movie. And looking back at the trailer, there is so many scenes missing. Michael Keaton isn't in the movie. They completely took him out. I don't know why, but there is some post credit scenes and they are laughable bad. Like if you told me that two weeks ago, they made those post credit scenes and slapped them on, I'd believe you. But they're trying to set up something here that makes no sense. And you would have thought they would have learned from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. They tried to set up the Sinister Six, and with these post credit scenes, they're trying to do something similar to that. I think this is just a classic case of the studio not knowing what the hell they wanted to do. You had good actors and a cool concept. Maybe you should have chosen a different writer. I mean, the guy who wrote this wrote Dracula Untold and Gods of Egypt. Ugh. Definitely a huge disappointment. This is probably going to go on my top 10 disappointing movies of 2022. And if you're watching this and you have not seen it yet, please just wait for it to come to streaming. The only way that we can hopefully get Sony to realize that they need to try harder and they need to put more effort into these movies is by voting with your dollar. Just wait till it's on a streaming service. I am going to give Morbius 
a 3 out of 10. And the only reason it's not lower than that is because those first 40 minutes are legitimately watchable and entertaining. But wake up, Sony! You can't keep doing this. Venom 1 and 2 are completely fine, entertaining enough. And I'm sure there's a third one right around the corner. And part of me hopes that if they're going to make a Morbius 2, that they can salvage this character. And I would not be surprised if they edited this movie the way that they did because they are thinking about completely abandoning this character. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Have you seen Morbius? If so, did you think it was as bad as I did? And also guys, if you like these videos, you want to see more of them, consider supporting my content by using GFIELD code Danny D. I'm drinking some sour chug rug right now. Delicious. And there is, in fact, a Morbius GFIELD flavor. It's called Plasma. It is a sweet nectarine flavor, and it's much better than the movie. <laughs> So if you consider picking that up, be sure to use GFIELD code DannyD for 10 to 30% off. And if you made it this far in the video, be sure to comment the word BAT, because there are bats in this movie. And if I see that you commented the word BAT, I know that you watched the whole thing, and you're a real one. Stay tuned very soon for my review of Moonfall, because I just watched that. I know that's a little late, but I waited for digital for that one. Also, I will be going to see Sonic 2 with the whole family, followed by Ambulance, which I'm excited to talk about for a special reason. But until the next one, as always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!